In this video we're going to show you how the solder sucker works. Now in the previous video when we soldered and desoldered the capacitor on we actually didn't really need to use it. But there are some instances in where that will be the best tool. So what we're going to do is we're going to purposely fill up um, or solder a joint just to use the solder sucker to desolder it. So let me see if I can find one here. Looks like this guy right here will be a good candidate. So what we're going to do is we need to make sure that uh, we get this guy heated up enough to where the solder sucker will just suck up any excess solder. So assuming that we could go back to the video on the capacitor, like I said, not all things are going to work 100%. In that case, the solder wick worked perfectly and we didn't really need to use the solder sucker. So what I'm going to do here is I'm essentially going to remove any old solder and apply new solder. So, and I mean, I'm not going to get this totally 100% spot on. I just want to give you the, you know, the, the basic idea on how to use the solder sucker and, you know, what its uses are. Okay, so now we've got the solder on there. And as you can see, it's, it melts almost instantly now whenever we touch it, as opposed to before when it took a while. So what we always do is we want to take advantage, we want to essentially, you know, use the new solder um, to kind of piggyback the solder that was on there before to get it to heat up quicker. So, I mean, we don't want, as you can see when I pulled it away, it, you know, it creates a cold solder joint when it frosts over. That's not an ideal solder joint. Um, but again, this is just for the, the sake of demonstration on how to use a solder sucker. So I'm not really too concerned on the actual joint and the integrity of that joint. So, now that we have our solder sucker here, um, I'm going to go ahead and disengage the spring. So what you want to do is to engage the spring, you just push down on this lever here, engage the spring, and now it's ready to be used. And then this button right here is the button that you push to engage the, the suction. It's not like a vacuum where it'll, it'll uh, con continuously just start sucking things up. It, it's like a one-time use, but you just can keep pushing the lever down to keep getting more uses out of it. Okay, so there's our solder joint. I'm going to see if I can get this melted enough and then use the solder sucker to suck away all the excess solder and leave us with a cleaner joint. So now that this is wet, you just place the solder sucker on the joint, hit the button. As you can see, it will spit out, um, you know, cool down solder that it's sucked up. So now let's see if we can hit it from this side over here. Now you really don't ever want to just, you know, uh, release all the excess in your work area. I just did that so that you could see, um, you know, that, that it does come out of it when it is, um, you know, once the spring has been disengaged and then you push it back down again, it'll go ahead and push that excess solder back out. Um, so as you can see, I mean, it has cleaned the, the actual area here up quite a bit. In fact, a lot of that solder that was on there is now gone. I mean, it could probably still use another work over. But you can see most of the solder now is out of that hole, so now you can approach it a different way. And that's how you use a solder sucker.